Biography Antoni Tony Milkowski was born October 7, 1935 in Evanston, Illinois. For a time, he considered pursuing a career in medicine, taking additional science courses at Columbia University. Instead, in 1958, he enlisted in the United States Marine Corps Officers Candidate Program. While stationed in San Diego, California he took drawing and art history courses at the University of California, Berkeley Extension Program. Discharged from the Marine Corps in 1961, Milkowski returned to New York and worked for a time as a recreation leader for the NYC Parks Department. He worked on and off in the Queens Parks during this time and also taught at the Lost Battalion Hall Recreation Center. In 1963, while at Hunter College, Milkowski began studying with Tony Smith, sculptor, Ad Reinhardt, Michael Ponce de Leon, George Sugarman, and Eugene Goosen. His interactions with these artists, in addition to his meeting David Smith, sculptor, cemented his desire to pursue sculpture. It was in 1964 to 1965, while a Fulbright scholar in Poland, where he also taught at the Academy of Fine Arts in Warsaw, that Milkowski was invited to participate in the Biennial of Forms in Space, where he created his first major large-scale public work entitled Poland Column. During this period, he began to develop his aesthetic of merging geometry and repetition, mainly in modular units and generally in steel. Over the years, he refined his methods and became interested in the concept of negative space and of the three-dimensional form in space. The piece consists of seven rectangular prisms, 34 x 34 x 48 each, and has a total size of 4 high x 28 long x 4 deep. Additionally, the contrast between the man-made, cold material and the lushness of the landscape surrounding it create the type of contrast that Milkowski often sought in his work. When observing seven up close, it becomes apparent that the artist used unfinished edges which brings to mind drawn edges one might see in painting. When viewing the piece from afar and from different angles, however, the user has the opportunity to see an ever-shifting work. In high light or low light, from back or front, in winter or summer, the viewer is privy to seeing something new with each successive viewing. After retiring from Hunter College, where he taught from 1966 to 1998, he lived and continued creating art in East Chatham, New York. Also 1999, 1998, 1997, 1995, 1993, 1992, 1991, 1999 set in steel, a retrospective, Hunter College, Times Square Gallery, NYC 1999 Roundout Biennial Sculpture Exhibitions, Kingston, New York. 1997 Hunter College Benefit Auction, Lubsdorf Gallery, Hunter College, NYC 1996 Hunter College Faculty Exhibition, The Art Gallery, Hunter College, NYC. The Show, The Gallery, Albany Institute of History and Art, Albany, New York 1980, Wards Island Show, NYC 1979 Berkshire Community College, Pittsfield Ma 1977 Seven Area Artists, Hudson Valley Community College, Troy, New York 1976 American Academy and Institute of Arts and Letters, NYC 1973-1999 Sculpture on Exhibit, State University of New York at Albany, Albany, New York 1973 Sculpture on Exhibit, Tanglewood Music Center, Lennox Ma 1971 John C.